Hi kittens! So before we get started, make sure to uh, click the subscribe button so you can be a part of this family. And um, this video is very basic. I'm just showing you an outfit that I've kind of thrown together for church tonight. Tonight's the stewardship banquet that we're having at my church. Um, and it basically involves tithing and whatnot. So anyway, that's where we're headed to. So this video is just a little outfit of the evening per se. And then a little makeup tutorial. As you can tell, this is the uh, finished look with my eyes and my cheeks so very basic very simple um, if anybody knows me I am NOT the one to uh, get makeup advice I really don't wear a whole lot I'm very basic down to earth so anyway that's what this video is I hope you enjoy it and at the end of this video if it's something that you uh, would like more of outfits of the day just give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below your favorite piece of jewelry that you like to wear all right enjoy <laughs> So let's see. So this is Melaleuca Sabella line, which is this right here. And if you have any questions about any of their makeup, I love their makeup. Um, but they got all kinds of things on here for all different hair products to wrinkles to the lotions. I got all kinds of products. But anyway, it is Sabella. And. What I do is I just put a little bit of foundation just to even it out. You will find that my makeup routine is like the simplest out there. Very simple. If you hear my mom talking in the background, she's talking to my dad. Um, we're getting ready for church. We have the stewardship banquet tonight. And I'm just getting ready for that. So I'm just kind of lightly smoothing it over. Oh, let's go over here. Okay. And, uh, okay, so then I've got that. That's all good. Literally, literally, I promise, this right here and the contents in it, this is all I have for makeup. I don't really wear a lot of makeup. As long as my face is clear, because um, in the past and still now, I have adult acne a little bit, and then I had um, acne when I was a little younger and uh, took a toll on my face. So I just, just a little something to kind of clean it up. And I'm using Sabella's Kabuki brush. It's a really nice texture. To know what type of brush is best is if you look in there, if you can pluck out the hairs, um, then that means that it is not a good quality. Um, for an example, you would be surprised, but this is a Sephora Pro Flawless Powder Pol Dure 40 right here. And when you go like this, look, hold on. See, can you see that? Can see it right there I'm like pulling them out and I clean this quite often but I spent like $40 on this thing and um, this has plucked none out and this was 23 from uh, Sabella line so anyway there's that this right here is the mineral foundation this is light um, this is number 9211 see and you know it's Maloka because of the symbol there the little tea tree oil leaf and it came with a little sleeve here to where you shake it out and you just swirl like here but I'm getting low so I had to take that part out and all I do is just lightly set it's got some tinted color to it but I just want to set so I'm not so oily looking but it's just gonna set my color in and you only need a dab this makeup all this um, the base last me a good month and a half um, if you spread it out you won't go too long because then your makeup's not good for you but the makeup let me here's a little fact check for you the makeup that you buy in the stores has chemicals in it obviously because they got to get the tinted color and everything in it um with that being tinted and the chemicals in it when a lady puts makeup on their face it automatically oof my hair sorry I got out of the shower and everything it automatically uh, within 30 minutes goes into the lady's bloodstream so you're getting all those chemicals in there Melaleuca has devised um, and there's other companies out there but Melaleuca has makeup where you can when you place it on your face it has minerals in it so, and vitamins so when you place it on there 30 30 seconds after you place the makeup on your uh, face it automatically goes into your bloodstream in about 30 seconds and instead of all the chemicals you're gonna get the minerals and the oils and the um, not oils the vitamins and um, that's why I love this so much 
Um, but yeah, that's why I like it. And then what I have is the number 50 blush angle brush from Maluka. And then I also have, this one is 9068 and it's called Soft Rose. So you can see that palette. But I really don't use a lot of makeup, so you're gonna be surprised how much I really don't use rather than do use. So I get just a little, you can see that it's barely on here. And sometimes I'll go right, right here. And then sometimes I spread it this way. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna give it a light blush as though, you know, you've been out in the sun or you've been exercising, you know, just to add a little color because sometimes with makeup you can look a little pale. And it's not like this lighting is doing me any good, but they're just right in here and right there. And this angle right here, you can, the point, go like this and swoop. I'm just going to swoop it up. Okay. Last but not least, I don't use a, um, what do you call it? Like, one of those little eyebrow, um, eyebrow. I don't do my eyebrows, obviously, because they're nice and dark. And I don't really care, like, if they're, they're not even or perfect. Um, as long as they're, you know, there's no unibrow or anything, you know, then they're, they're totally fine. Let me close this, because she's getting louder. Um, <laughs> um. And when it comes to eyeshadows, this is Mel Luca's coloring. So, of course, you can see this is all gone. So, almost all gone. So, I've moved on to this. And then we've got the different colors here. As you can tell, I don't use these two very often. I use this one, but not this one very often. But, you know, so. I don't use one of those little sponges that you use on your eyes. I just use my finger. So, I'm going to take this color right here. Okay. As you can see, I'm going to get it right here. And I'm just gonna put it right under here. Just a little, and then right there. And what this does is, you can see, it kind of brightens the eye and make it a little bit bigger. And so we're gonna go right here. Sorry, I'm using my middle finger. <laughs> That's what I use. Find I can get a better angle. Okay, so. There's that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this purple color right here. See? And then I'm just gonna swoop it over. To get an even color right on the lid. Mm -hmm. Do the same for the other side. Very simple. My my makeup is very simple. I don't really, sorry, I don't really put a lot into it. And then this right here has a little bit of sparkle. And it's a little lighter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep over that and kind of blend it all together. Just to add a little color to my eyes. This is the simplest form because I really don't wear a lot of makeup, as I keep saying, so, you know, just a little to make me look not so dull. Alright, then what I do is I take this brown right here, and very sparingly I do the corner, and this corner right here where some people would wing it out, I'm just going to, sorry, I need my mirror here. I'm just going to hit the edge. And spread it, okay? Um, I don't use um, mascara because I haven't found any that I'm not allergic to. That's all I do. Yep, that's about right. Wipe my finger off. I use these cloths. I handmade these. 
and what I do is I just sew them. Um, this right here is something that uh, a friend made, but I do make these. I've got this color, and let's see, I've got another color. Here it is, this one right here. Because I use white towels and white washcloths, and I don't want makeup on them. And this right here, I don't mind if makeup gets on, but they seem to clean very good. So I have these, and I just keep a few of those. Um, And that's all. Now, sometimes what I do is I'll take this right here, the little light color, and I'll just go right here to give some brightness. And it's just to brighten up the cheeks. And my dears, that is all I do, for sure. So my hair is wet as you can see, but that's all I do. So anyway, I will leave um, down in the description below. And um, because I was talking, the makeup took about, this video was about 10 minutes, but typically it takes about five minutes to do. So this video is not, not that bad, you know, but yeah, so alrighty, there we go. There's my makeup. Very simple, very light, not too heavy. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video if it's something you wanna see more of. Um, but uh, I'm, there's not really too much makeup <laughs> videos I can do, but I do have a lot of serums and things like that. Here, I'll show you, like right here. Here's my little thing right here and all my little serums and my masks. We can go through that if you want to and I can show you how I use some of those. But anyway, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, so mom and I are heading to church. Just wanted to do a little outfit update. Say hi. Say hi, mom. Hi. Okay, so the only thing I'm wearing for jewelry are these earrings here. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. She's driving and I'm riding. And then I've got this, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me bracelet. And it's got actually the little reference to it. Um, Philippians 4.13, so that's neat. And then I'm wearing this brown belt to cinch in my pokey dot dress. I got a jean jacket on and I've rolled up the sleeves a bit. And then I've got, if you can see, my brown boots here. And then for my pocketbook, I am carrying a Charm and Charlie bag right here. So that's all I'm doing for my outfit. I hope you enjoy.